Hey, so this is a bit of a holdover video. Um, essentially, I'm going through some technical difficulties at the moment. I'm shipping off some parts from my RED back to RED, and I'm getting some other parts in from RED, so I'll sort of be without a camera for like four or five days. So this will have to do for the time in between. Um, I've been getting a few, actually a lot of requests in the past couple months to do a what's on my phone video. Usually I hate these videos because I get bored as shit. So that said, I will try not to bore you all to death and make this sort of interesting, or at least as interesting as it can be. Let's get into it. So first things first, I'm using the Galaxy S8 Plus. I was using the Galaxy S8, but then I cracked it and I'm just sort of too lazy to get it fixed. So until then, I'm using this. The first thing you'll see is of course the wallpaper and I'm using this cloudy dark wallpaper that I think looks pretty cool on this screen. Now a common thread through this setup is that I only have the essentials on my home screen. This being of course the Play Store for downloading apps, Spotify as my music player of choice, Google for quick searches, of course the phone and the Google Messages app which I prefer over the Samsung Messages app because it's still just trash, the Gmail app for email, Phoenix as my Twitter client of choice, and of course the camera app. In my folder, I have a whole bunch of the daily essentials. I have the really terrible YouTube Studio app, Maps, Photos, Google Keep, which I use to essentially jot down all of my thoughts and notes because I tend to forget things really easily, the Clock app, Waze, which is a super useful app if you tend to speed on the highways a little bit. I'm not gonna say that I do, but you should totally check this out. I have the YouTube app, which is this really small platform. You've probably never heard of it. I also have the Android Auto app, which is a super useful app if you drive in the car with your phone and you wanna listen to music and also use the directions at the same time. It has this really large user interface that makes it a lot safer to use while driving. And of course I have Chrome, YouTube TV, Lose It, which is a calorie tracker, and the standard Google Calendar app. Now on the next page, I have this full screen today calendar widget that's super clean, and I use it to group all of my events in a daily fashion. That way I can see everything that goes on daily. Now going into the app drawer, I have a whole bunch of folders. One contains some Google apps, uh, and there's another one that I have some wallpaper apps like Backdrops and Frame, and then I have the Breather app, and then I have Canopy, which is this pretty cool app that compiles a bunch of like modern trending items on Amazon into one app. It's a super clean user interface, and it essentially allows you to bypass Amazon.com altogether when looking for cool items. Honestly, if there's one app that I want you to look up after this, it's this one. It's really cool. Now underneath that, I have a whole bunch of random apps like Samsung Pay and Lyft and some social medias. And then I have Phoenix 2, which is essentially the second version of Phoenix. It's still under development, but it's cool to see the progress that they're making with the app. It's still really buggy, which is why I'm still using the first one, but definitely check it out if you're interested in what they're doing. I also have Apple Music and SoundCloud and Screener, which allows you to take screenshots of your phone and superimpose it into the phone itself to share it in like a clean way on Twitter or Instagram or whatever. And then of course I have PayPal and Zillow because I am constantly looking for a new place to live. But anyways, that's, that's really all there is to my phone. I don't really have any games or anything like that. I basically just use the essentials. Uh, so yeah, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned and take it easy. Bye. And the 120 gigabyte mini mag, which I'm also upgrading to the 480 gigabyte mini mag. Wow, this is getting way too complicated. Uh, essentially I'm upgrading them because I wanted to after I ship two important parts of this camera back, fuck, two important parts to my camera in, I mean, <laughs> I'm glad I'm providing you amusement. <laughs>